Hi, and welcome to my oil tutorial for Dyson Sphere program. I'm Icon, and in this video, I will explain how plasma refining and X ray cracking can work quite easily into each other. So, you use these processes to create hydrogen and graphite, which are the main ingredients for the red science cubes, but also quite important for hydrogen fuel rods. And while it might look a little bit complicated at first glance, it is quite easy once you wrap your head around it. So I did that for you, so you don't have to. So here I already built up a little bit of an example facility to see how that'll work. So you need three refineries per cluster and we're going to rebuild one of those clusters and I'm going to explain how it works while we are tinkering. So let's get started. So first we are just picking up one of those refineries with a shift left click, rotate it to make the white squares um, go right next to one of those belts. Keep in mind that every refinery in the with this plasma refining process eats 0.5 units of oil per second. So one crude oil seep like this producing 2.0 units of oil per second would feed four of um, four refineries with plasma refining so you can easily calculate how much processing power you've got. So now we're gonna put up some belt right next to this guy uh, just like that and then I'll right click and drag write some more of that right over here and shift click on that one and do another one shift click on that conveyor belt it's really handy to copy things on the screen with this with these little commands and now we got the basics so i strongly advise you to place down your sorters before you engage these machines because right now as soon as there's something lying on these belts it's all a lot more different to configure it so we see here, I already had, a, had an example, so we have the refined oil go on this belt and the hydrogen go on that belt. So I want to replicate this here as well. So I'll take one sorter here and with tap I say here goes the refined oil and here goes sec. Here goes the hydrogen. And now we do the same thing on this side. We say here goes the hydrogen and here goes the refined oil. Boom, just like that. All right, just connect that with your main belts and that's just that. Now, now I want to take a look into the recipes. This is just the basics, but why does it work and how does it work? So plasma refining takes crude oil and turns it into refined oil and hydrogen. But, but as you can see here, we receive way less hydrogen than we receive refined oil. The X-ray cracking process takes that hydrogen and turns it into three. This is really powerful because it um, multiplies basically the output of these thingies, but you need two units of hydrogen to get that kick started. So since we produce one unit every four seconds, and we need two units every four seconds. We need two refiners to feed that recipe. But we will produ also produce four units of refined oil every four seconds with that recipe. So we will have three units of refined oil too much every four seconds out of that recipe. But that's, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But that means we're now going to set up one extra oil refinery here and I just want to put it into a good angle here. So let's go just like that maybe. Yeah, I wanted that. So here goes the x-ray cracking process. So I'll connect the conveyor belts just like this. Here goes the refined oil and here goes the hydrogen. So let's connect that with sorters and let's just connect it also with power and put it into action because we should be pretty much done here I should be powering them all up now okay so now the process processes start running 
Now, here goes the output. We also use two lanes because we have two different products which will be um, produced by this kind of facility. So again here goes on the inner belt goes the hydrogen and on the outer belt goes the graphite. You can arrange it however you want to, but I did it just like this um, on this facility here and I want to connect these systems with each other. So just to show you that you can put these clusters nicely into line and this is just one example of how you can arrange your machines but the basic formula is two refiners with plasma refining feed one refiner with x-ray cracking so the real cool part about this you have a really strong extra output of refined oil there so what we can what can we do with that oh i just see i don't like what i did there give me second my friends because I just noticed that this won't work as I as I like to so all this extra oil can be of course very very useful so what I really like to do with it or one example is just to pipe it over here and then we could just take the splitter for example and connect these with each other and the simplest way of facilitating that extra oil of course would be to just put thermal plants between each other and just burn that stuff and generate free energy but you can also think of other usages if you want to but here we can just plug in power plants left and right to these things and we get free power just as a side effect of that recipe because we won't be needing any we won't be needing these extra products here so that's one really really good thing to keep track of when you work like this so every one yeah, uh, one unit of crude oil per second feeds one of these clusters. Every one of these clusters produces 0.75 units of hydrogen per second and 0.25 units of energetic graphite per second. The thing here is, these are the necessary ingredients for the energetic mat matrix recipe, but you will be not feeding this uh, recipe correctly just by working like that so you will need to add in extra energetic graphite to make it work just like that just want to mention that I really like this recipe because it also produces a lot of hydrogen which helps you to create hydrogen fuel rods which are something you will need in the early game to get off from this planet so I hope that was helpful for you so if you have any further questions or comments I'd invite you to put them down below and leave a like or a subscribe if you did like that content. Check out my channel if you want to see more Dyson Sphere program or other building simulator game content. It's all there. So, have a nice day, have fun, and see you soon. Bye-bye.